While navigating inside your ZBrush, sometimes it's quite annoying because of your uh, angles quite changes. It moves in a way that you really don't like to move uh, that uh, in, in that form. So uh, now you have this new option, which is known as the axis rotation, which will help you to lock your model to one rotational axis to give you that real world feeling of working on a sculpting stand. So you can rotate around only or you can the way you want it so you can adjust your or you can uh, like define your own axis and it will only move on that axis so uh, use uh, you can use this axis rotation option to specify degree of rotation for your model during uh, you know the way you want to like uh, like while you're working and it will stick to that rotation axis that you have defined now let's see how we can do that so i will go to the transform here and i will just hook it to i think not here it's better to hook at this side so i will just go here transform where it is gone here it is and i will hook it here okay now in the transform if you will see that we already have this x y and uh, you know x y z x y and z uh in addition to that now we have axis rotation and in the axis rotation we have this uh rotate backward which will rotate like this if you keep on clicking and rotate to this side if you keep on clicking now you can define your own increment here now it is rotating five uh, like you know five points left or right so if i will change it to a little bit more so if i click you can see that this rotating with more increments or this side you can use local also suppose if i'm working on this part here okay so suppose i'm sculpting let me turn on my symmetry like let me turn off my semester not turn on so if i'm sculpting here and this will become my local now so if i will rotate so it will rotate on the on that axis right now uh because i'm using a uh, like a model without any sub tools so if i have something with the sub tool that uh that part will become my local okay and then it will start rotating at that point like suppose you can see now it is rotating on my local because i was working on that part so it will become my local and then you can see that now if I will sculpt here now this will become my uh, local so now it is rotating on this part I will turn this off let me undo these now use pen means I can click over here the pen okay and then I can rotate with the pen to this direction here okay and you can see that it is only rotating to that but if you're using pen, okay, so you, uh, your increment will not work, okay? Now, one more thing we can do here is that, let me turn this off. We can assign a, let me change this back to five. We can assign a shortcut to it, like a hotkey to it. Now, how we can do that? You can press Control Alt, click here, and I will press. Uh, you can see on the top it says, uh, "Okay, got cancelled." But just notice what it will it will say on the top here. Control Alt, and when I click here, it says, "Press any combination to assign a custom hotkey, or press Escape or mouse to cancel, or press Delete to remove." previous custom assign, uh, assignment but i want to give a short uh, like a hotkey to it j i will press j on my keyboard so custom hotkey j is applied here now i will do the same thing for this one control alt and i will give uh, and click here okay 
and sorry uh, let me do again control all and click here and i will press k and the k hot uh, hot uh, like hot key is applied now if i will go here and if i'm working if i will press j it will move to the left side if i will press k it will move to the right side and if i keep it pressed so you can see that it's moving so i can scrub easily move around and then move back so you know just like a real uh, sort of a uh, axis rotation thing uh, just like that we have in, in the in the clay master okay so i hope this new feature of your uh, access uh, like uh, of the zbrush axis rotation uh, will help you a lot when uh, whenever you will be sculpting on and it's a, it's a quite uh, handy uh, option which i usually uh, use more often so i hope you will also use it and if you have liked my video enjoyed my video please click on the like button and uh, I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions, and full courses uh, along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you will give a shout out to my channel on your social media account, which will help me to get more subscribers. And this will motivate me to create more content for you all. So guys, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself uh, uh, until we meet for the next lesson. Thank you.